I hope I catch everything in my camera. So guys, here we go. Let's see the topics that are against each other. So we have Twin Flame. Let me see if you can see it. See, there you go. Twin Flame against which topic? <coughs> Twin Flame is always in the topics. School, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're doing Twin Flame against school this time. Hi guys, welcome to the first of our wheel readings. So I want to choose different space, um, beautiful cards. Um, this is our Twin Flame topic. So because the, tw the Twin Flame copy come out, the topic came out, so we have blue. We have this beautiful nebula. And I'm, I'm doing three piles and we have this beautiful that I want to take, you know, so these are the three piles and I'm going to take, um, I'm using the same signifiers also for the career reading because finances and career came out. Oh no, school came out. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So we're taking school and twin flame. First I'm doing the twin flame reading. So choose your pile. And then I see you at the piles, guys, okay? Please love these these um, wheel readings again, okay? And when you, um, later on, you go to my, to my side, to my community post section, and you vote, okay? You vote if the category Twin Flame should be in the next wheel reading or the category School, okay? So I see you, guys, bye, guys. So hello, guys. So Twin Flame topic. Let's see how your twin flame is feeling about you, okay? This is what we're gonna do. And I want that next time you tell me, like in the community post, you tell me which reading topic should be in next real reading, okay? So how is their twin flame feeling for them? Pile one, space pile one. Ah, oh, we have dreams. Look at this beautiful card, guys. Wow, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Mm, I know what I take. I take the Favoli Carol. How is their twin flame feeling for them? Why is dreams here? Give me three cards. The Empress, yes, Lem Emperatrice, why, what are they feeling? The Queen of Flowers, <coughs> one more card, and the Ten of Flowers, <coughs> that's Earth Energy. Queen of Earth. The flowers is Earth. The this is fire. Let me check. The butterfly is air. Because here this was different. Pentacles. This is one. Let me see. This is wands. This is air. Fire, air. Oh no, it's cups. Fire, air, cups, and this is pentacles. Let me see. This is fire. This makes sense. This is air. The butterfly is flying in the air. 
Ja, The Roses ist Cups. The Roses, Queen of Flowers. So, das ist The Queen of Cups, das ist The Ten of Cups und das ist The Empress. Wow. So, I don't have to say anything more to this. They feel that you are their emotional fulfillment, that you are their queen of heart. Um, you know, they are sad that you guys are so different that you can only, you know, we have the fairy and the tiger here. And this is for me like a fairy tale, you know. They feel for you that you are their fairy tale. You are their ever after. They see you as their ideal picture. Yeah, and they could even have pictures of you on their wall. You probably have of them. <laughs> But this is like their dream come true. Wow, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I want. Give me two more cards. Or one more card. What is pile one? The space card, the blue one. Feeling for the twin flame. Why are those cards here? Yeah, they want to take action. I don't know why these cards are turned around. <clears throat> Look at this. They want to take action. Yeah, you are their star. They see you as their twin flame. They see that you you guys are horses on a ranch. You know, they want to be free with you. Basically, I also feel they want to be free with you. They want to take action to come forward. Um, They want to be with you. They are fed up with this dream situation that you guys cannot be together right now. Let's get some a message. Yeah, not some one message here with these message cards. These are very like whatever comes out. I'm taking. Let's shuffle it for pile one, please. Pile one. What is the message of this divine masculine? Pile one. Okay, the brown maybe this this uh, means something to you this um yeah what is it this pattern okay so kind of sweet you hold a stuffed animal which in some kind of color or of yellow and blue when you hold <clears throat> you hold a stuffed animal which is some kind of color oh i remember this is from some of our i think it is a channeled message from our life I don't know, but the, you guys know. Maybe I didn't. I do this for one of you. Maybe that's a message for this person. You hold a stuffed animal, which is some kind of color of yellow and blue. When you hold that, you can feel my energy. It almost looks like the tiger. And I will show you some truth. I miss you. Put yourself on the crown and let the stars sparkle. Put yourself on the crown, like be the queen, right? And let the stars sparkle. It's beautiful. <laughs> wow. You're their queen. Yeah, you are their queen, you know. They're sad that they cannot be with you. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get some more cards. The white ones. Let's get some more messages and then I'm closing it off. That's gorgeous. I really love this reading. Can I have three more messages here for this pile? I want more in love. Okay. Don't be impatient. The love in my eyes is real. Oh my gosh. These cards all felt. I write songs for you. I love your faith in me. Okay. So I want more in love also means that's why they are in twin flame bond. You know, they want more. They want to see you. They want to be with you. You know, that's basically what I'm seeing very gorgeous so this is all what i'm having i hope you like this guys and i'm saying i'm moving on to pile three by at uh, two might mean hello pile green welcome to your reading so let's see first of all we're gonna look what is your twin flame feeling for you what is your twin flame feeling for you right now What is your twin flame feeling for you, pile two? What is pile two's twin flame feeling about them? We have rejection, okay. Very interesting, why is that? 
So they feel rejected from you for some kind of reason. We're going to look into this and I'm choosing the um, Tarot Favola. We have the Nine of Swords. Yes, this card wanted to come out. The Hierophant. Yeah, look at this. She has the Death card. Wow, this these cards sometimes look scary. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune, the Ghost. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, Nine of Swords. They're stressed out because it's all depending on divine timing. Yeah, they're stressed out that you don't want this anymore, that you're leaving them. Yeah, and you're saying to the Hierophant, I mean, the Hierophant is this spiritual connection that you guys having that you're saying no more. No more, I'm leaving, you know. You see here also the timing is important. It has been too long. Yeah, it has been too long that you guys cannot be in union. And they think you might leave them because here you see how you guys are attached to each other. You see this string here, but it's a spider web. It has been too long that you guys cannot be together. <clears throat> yeah, so they feel that you will reject them or they feel that you already rejected them. Okay, interesting, right? <clears throat> yeah, they feel... um that your angels told you to move on and so they're stressed out that you transformed already that you don't love them anymore um that's what they're feeling they're feeling that you took your energy away and you moved on yeah that's what i'm feeling they, they feel that you moved on <clears throat> let's get some more card how is this divine masculine what are they feeling palpable for their divine feminine in this card, I see that it has been such a long time, maybe already five years, that you're waiting on them. And for some kind of reason, they cannot be with you. What is this Divine Masculine feeling here? Just one card. I feel this card. That's why I put this away. A leg up yeah see um it has been too long you know this is the winter bear the sleeping bear um they want to come and help you yeah they want that you a leg up tells me that they want to come in and um you know they want to steer you away they want to bring spring they don't want this winter anymore where you guys are not in contact you know they want to protect you i also see this as a bear mother the bear mother is always protecting this connection so they might watch over you in spirit that's because i see here the guy watching over her so they might watch over you in spirit and um <clears throat> but they feel that since they're not there with you since they're somewhere away from you and it all depends on divine timing and they can't be with you right now because they have a commitment somewhere else i mean this is also what the hierophant tells me they are a spiritual teacher somewhere else and that's what stressed them out they can't, they can't be with you and um, they think that you will reject them let's get some messages that's the last thing and then we're closing off this reading one message or picture what comes through yeah this card came and that's exactly the, the divine timing. I want to take only one picture from there. And then I want to get messages. Yeah. You are the first thing on my mind. Yes. You know, they think, oh my gosh, you know, timing has been too rough. I am healing. I want everyone to take good care for you. See? They're watching in spirit over you guys. Let's fly. Oh, and then one card turned around. Where is it here? I wish things were different. I don't want to read too much, but I, I want to get this card. Yeah. And then the next card was closed again. So I'm taking this. I wish things were different. Yeah, they really do. They really feel you reject them. The timing, the timing is of essence here. And they really feel that, um, you know, the winter has gone for too long. 
you guys are in no contact you guys have never met or you know because they have a commitment somewhere else they are a spiritual teacher they this person is in their soul task and they fear that they get rejected from you oh our twin flames are like cute aren't they so that's all what i'm having guys now i'm moving on to part three bye hello part three you chose this beautiful purple orange nebula how cute is this how beautiful is this it's very beautiful to our decoration so how is your twin flame part three how's your twin flame feeling in this connection letting go wow this is interesting number 26 Let's see what this means. This could have mean so many different things. <clears throat> Let's see with the Favoli deck what this means. What is this letting go all about? Why do they feel letting go? Why do this twin flames feel letting go? I feel here it has to do with the energy. Why is this twin flame feeling they have to let go? What is this letting go all about? Okay. We have the Eight of Wands, the fire burning, the Seven of Swords, yes, um, that's you not being with them, and then we have the Four of Pentacles, yeah, holding on. I feel here with this 26, which is also the card of balance. There is no balance right now in this situation. And what I'm feeling here is... <clears throat> that there has to be balanced. You know, you guys have to be balanced. There is no balance right now. I feel they are letting go of this connection. That what are they feeling? They feeling a need to bring this connection into balance because I feel right now you are the only one that's holding on. Look at this. We have here also a balance. Yeah. But I see here one is invested and one is not. And that's what they know. They know they can't be invested. We have the eight. And they want that you let go. This is this is what I strongly feel. They feel your energy. They feel you holding on to them. You see this? And this is here also, there is imbalance. You are holding on, they are not. Um, they feel guilty because of this. Yeah, The Seven of Swords, this is avoiding. They're even avoiding this because they want to, like you also see here, this cult. They don't want that you get too obsessed with this connection, I'm feeling here, because there is no balance right now. They want that this connection is balanced. There is no major arcana here. So um, this tells me that they just want that you loosen the energy. You're probably holding on, grabbing on too much. And they see this. Yeah, They see they can't be with you. They're avoiding being with you. Um, let me check why they're avoiding this. Let me see what this card... What is going on here? Why is this person feeling letting go? Why is this twin flame feeling letting go? Why is this twin flame feeling this? Why is this twin flame feeling letting go? Okay. The sun. <clears throat> they don't want that um, they are the only thing for you. You see this here? It's like this girl is bathing in her, her um, pool and the pool is like this cup of love you know so basically this is also the card for obsession for me the number one you know that you only concentrate on this one they don't want this and usually divine masculine doesn't don't want this because they feel this if you hold on to their energy too much if you think this is like the only um you know light in your life they feel this you need to concentrate on your soul task you need to concentrate on other things this twin flame is feeling your energy af and it almost feels like an obsessive energy to them because you're not letting 
them go. And this is not meaning that um, this is not your twin flame. It's meaning that there is no balance and they know it. Um, the sun here, why are they not avoiding this? Because they're in the public eye. The sign, sun means they're exposed. They're exposed. They're in the public eye. And they can't be with you because of this reason. They have to, they have to avoid it. And that's why they don't want to, you know, they don't want that you sit in your pool here, in their pool. And the only thing what you do is think about them, you know. They don't want that this is the only reason for you to be alive, basically. You know what I mean? They want that you concentrate on your soul task, on making yourself happy, on bringing yourself happiness. Okay, this is, this came out. I'm taking it. And this also. Okay, I'm taking them. Maybe, maybe there's a message. Maybe... Okay, this blue card came out. When I think of you, I often feel like drowning into a blue sea. Blue is a color I really like. Drowning. They don't want that you drown like them. I feel here that they also, they need to let go because they also feel sometimes they're drowning in this love. Wake up. So this is this, it's almost the same color and it says... Wake up, wake, wake up. I'm waiting to show you what I got. What are you waiting for? I hear you whisper. I'm ready to open my eyes. I'm waiting to show myself to you. My love for you is so intense. I want to trust the journey, but it's difficult. My energy is trying to find you. I daydream of you so often. I always see this beautiful light. If you trust the path, I will do the same because I can't stop loving you, the one. Wake up, wake up. I'm waiting to show you what I got. What are you waiting for? I hear you whisper. I'm ready to open my eyes. I'm waiting to show myself to you. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. They can't be with you right now. And they want that you wake up. I feel here they experience the same. Yeah, I mean, Twin Flames Merle. They are also drowning in this love, you know. And they want that you guys balance the energies out so everyone can concentrate on their soul task strongly feeling this here let's get some messages they tell me the blue ones okay i'm getting the blue ones if he wants the blue one i'm getting the blue one what else you want to say since i met you my life was never the same i made a mistake okay we will come back together okay This card, and I don't want to take so much. It is written in our soul contract. One more card here, Spirit. I burn for you with every cell of my body. See, they mirror you completely, guys. That's what why they want to, to let go. They need this for themselves and they need this for your... So that you find your happiness on your own. Yeah, the one... They, they are drowning in this love, guys. And that's why they need the balance. The Eight of Wands is also, yeah, very passionate. You know, you see how this flame is burning. But it's not in balance. It's not in balance. And they're saying we need to let go of each other. We need to find happiness. You know, we will come back together. Everything is fine. But we need to let go of the energies right now. This is very important for this pile. Yeah. Okay, guys. So that's all what I'm having for my Twin Flame reading. I hope you like this reading. Now I'm moving to the school reading. Bye, guys. Hello, everyone. So for the school reading, I want to have a different order. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm using the same signifiers. So please choose your signifier, which color draw, space color draws you in the most. And then we're going to see. Um, I want to look into what can you do? to concentrate in a better way how can you learn more effectively okay more productively that's what we're gonna look so it's all about learning studying and i think that's important for my purple lights because most of you do that right now okay so i see you at the piles and please after this reading please go to my community post and vote which topic you want next time again with a real reading okay see you so hello we're starting off with um this color so let's see Maybe you chose also the twin flame color in this color. We'll see. So we want to look into the productivity. How can one learn in a more efficient way? That's what I, what I want to look. 
How can this pile one learn in a more efficient way? What is this card all about? Can you give me more information? I just want to get one card, not too many. Not too many. How can Pile 1 learn in a more strategic way? We have the world with the internet, okay. And we also want to get one of these cards. Ooh, what is this? Don't need this. Give me one card for Pile 1. Okay, so here we go, guys. So we have the world card and we have productivity work in blocks, number seven. Okay, so it says, make fixed periods of time where you work off your scheduled to-dos, important. Be sure to block these times in co your calendar and consistently keep these times blocks for your personal project tasks. We have the world on the internet, so also I'm feeling work in blocks if you block you know, if you learn for two hours and then you make a pause, you know, maybe also shut off internet. Um, I see also the whole um, social media sites, you know, close it off while you work, you know. Maybe you're working on the internet and you have your social media constantly, um, you know, spinning. So you see when people message you. So this is not good. Yeah. So what I'm feeling here, work in blocks, it's like, take your time, <clears throat> your free time, your social media time, and then put <clears throat> active blocks in your calendar, make this for a whole week, and look how you can work. And we have hope. Okay, so you are a person, you look at the world. Okay, when you are in balance, it means you are optimistic and future oriented, you expect the best and you make an effort to make it come true. You believe that the future will be bright, especially when you set your mind to it. So you got to be in this mindset yeah, that you can make it, that you can complete your task. When you are not in this mindset, um, <clears throat> you know, when you overdo this hope, you are, you look at the world with rose tinted glasses, you can be naive. You know, that's when it's not in balance. So bring this hope in balance. Or you are negative, so the other way, cynical, and you don't have faith in the future. You can be passive as if your efforts don't matter. So bring this into balance. And what is balance I just read to you? Um, hope for your future, that you can reach the world, you can reach everything, all your dreams can come true. Number seven is also about faith in the universe, you know. And then this card says, you can motivate others. It gives you back so much. Try it. So maybe you are a good motivator, yeah? So you should motivate yourself. Have hope and motivate yourself. I feel you are <clears throat> in this last balance mindset. I don't think you look at the world with rose-tinted glasses. I think you are someone very pessimistic and says, well, I'm, I'm working, I'm, I'm, I'm studying, it's not working out, you know, whatever I studied. <clears throat> it's not remaining in my head. Um, I'm losing it. It's not staying there. It's like not in balance here. I think you, your hope here is not balanced. So you are negative, cynical. You don't have faith in the future. And this is you need to motivate yourself, guys. You know, how can pile one study better? <clears throat> Work in blocks, you know, every week. You put your blocks when you will learn during the week. And also in between social media blocks. Or you can be on the internet, YouTube, whatever. Watch my readings, you know. And then again, working in blocks. I think this is very important for my pile one, okay? So I hope I could help you with this. And I'm saying bye. Hello, pile two. You chose this beautiful blue space card. <clears throat> so let's see how you can work better. How pile two can work better? Um, not work better, study better. What is a better method for pile two, the blue space to study, okay? It says rocket power. <laughs> Give me also one more card. Why is <clears throat> only one? Why is this card here? How can part two study better? Okay. The green card. <laughs> Look at the fishes. I like this. <clears throat> 
one more tarot card for here. How can pile two study better? Be more productive in a better way. We have the five of pentacles. Okay. And also one of these cards. What is important to know for my pile blue space card? A green. Green is very important. So green is also a very positive card for me. So remain positive. I don't think you stay positive. This is a mindset of lack mentality. This is lack mentality that you have to change. I mean, I see that right away when I see this lack mentality. And also you also always need someone to, um, you know, to motivate you. You cannot motivate yourself. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like, you know, go to your mom and get some hugs maybe before you work, you know, before you study. But you, you, you feel never enough. You feel never you studied enough. You feel as there is no hope. There is no positivity. It's like this mindset. Oh, I cannot do it. I'm too dumb. You know, I have a lack. This is lack mentality and you need to change this. So how can you study better? Productivity strategy 31. <clears throat> Take real breaks. You don't just need breaks to regenerate. You also brew them to maintain your concentration in a task. So this is similar to Pile 1. Um, but Pile 1 had to organize and structure their plan. I don't think you, you have to organize and structure your plan. I feel you have to take breaks. You don't take breaks. I feel Pile, pile 2 is the one you're almost, um, you know, look at this wounded warrior here. You're almost studying to exhaustion. Where you, you feel like a, a beggar, you know. You feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I learned for five hours straight. But you need breaks. to, to And that's why you are in this lag man mentality. Because it's like you're doing too much at once. And then you're, you're abandoned this thing. And you're not <clears throat> learning at all. You know, I feel an imbalance. When I see here this, you know, there's an imbalance in your how you study. You know, in your productivity, that's how I read this here. There is an imbalance in your product productivity. Sometimes, you know, you are in front because you learned enough. And then you, again, you think <clears throat> you're, you're not having positivity at all. And you're in this like mentality set. Okay. So let's see what this is saying. Virtue. Justice. This virtue is about, is about what makes life fair. This can be seen in equity. People being rewarded fairly for their contribution. See, reward yourself. <laughs> or need, everyone gets their needs met. The strengths involved are civic and are about living and working together in harmony. Character strength associated with this virtue is teamwork, fairness and leadership. <clears throat> so you should also think about these things, you know, take breaks. Mm, can you learn better with a group in a team, you know? Interesting. But I'm feeling with the justice card, I feel this is about your balance in learning. You know, also reward yourself. Reward yourself with real breaks. And this is saying you will get what you earned. Yeah, if you're not studying... There is nothing getting out of it, you know. If you're studying too much, sometimes, um, you know, you, you have this lag mentality and you need days to recover from your studying. You know, you feel burned out almost with this wounded warrior. And also, I feel here that you also, <clears throat> a lot of times you need this rewards, this justice, this, you know, people paying attention to what, you, what you're doing. You know, like a, a hug from your mom or please tell this to your parents, you know, tell to your parents, if I study today, if I study well, please give me some good words of reward when I come later from studying, you know, but you must also do something. It's not that you can get rewards when you don't work on something, but I'm feeling you also need to talk to your parents, you know, and say, listen, we are in a team. I want to, I want to um, learn but I need rewards from you, mom. You know, maybe you can say something nice. You know, it's not about money. But it's about saying something nice. You know, like... Come on, you know, motivational words. And also, if you take real breaks and really enjoy also the time in between, you will see that it works much better. Okay? 
beautiful so this is what i'm having for my part two now we're going to part three bye guys <clears throat> hello part three so <clears throat> you chose this beautiful nebula so let's see how you can study in a better way i think this reading is very important for all my student army which most of you are so why is this card here how can part three study in a better way how can part three study in a better way okay interesting all different cards for all people <laughs> part three how can they study in a better way <clears throat> you're doing too much guys Again, it's all about balance. I feel a lot of times like you guys do either too much or not enough. That's exactly what part two did, you know? <laughs> That's what I see with this guy. But I want to get one more card and then I'm going to look at the other cards. Part three, please. Give me one card. Okay, this time a red flag. So we'll see what is written on there. We have productivity strategy number nine eat the frog first what is this you can move a psychological level if you always do first your currently most unloved task oh this is about order look at this first last you will be amazed how much you will approach your other activities easier for the rest of the day so eat the shitty thing first so study what you don't like first and then the other thing um you see how this is one is up and one is down it's like a seesaw <clears throat> so this is order okay do the one where your ship goes down you know the one you don't like the most do it first maybe you're struggling with this you know maybe you're um you know sometimes you only have to do a task to do a task you don't like and that's why you prolong in this you know you're avoiding i think you're avoiding or you get even stressed out then and you you do a lot of things at the same time here i also see this you know this is balancing out your work i'm putting an order into your learning things so let's see what this card says prudence so prudence is in <coughs> um in balance when it says you are careful in your choices you don't take unnecessary risks and you are thoughtful you don't do or say something which you might regret later you are discreet so this is also about um, with eat the frog first. Yeah, this is like doing too many choices at the same time, doing too many things at the same time. And also <clears throat> then overthinking too much because you have so much stuff in mind, you can't even process this. Yeah, this is you are thoughtful. You, I mean, that's a planning. I think sometimes you don't plan your, what you have to learn. You just learn straight away. And then you have to do many things at the same time. And that's what overstresses you. When it is out of balance, it says you can be anxious and you can overly worry about all kinds of things. So you're over worrying because you have so much stuff in your mind then. Because you're learning it at the same time. You don't put an order. Okay, so part three, it's about putting an order. Making a choice. What do I learn first? What comes next? Or... If it's not in balance, you can act without thinking. You can take too many risks or end up being thrill seeking, like learning everything like this, 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 this. And then um, you haven't learned anything because oh, pff, how should your, you know, your mind pros process this. So here I feel it strongly about making an order. What is this saying? <clears throat> Time for a change. Red card right here. <laughs> That's crazy. I love how this works all the time. So put an order into things. Yeah, structure your work. Don't do everything at once. Keep your balance in making a choice. Yeah, say today I learned this. Tomorrow I learned this. And eat the frog first. Do the things you don't like at, at first. Yeah, you need to change your learning strategy. So for me, this feels it's either you learn all at once. You know, you, you wait till the last day and then you do everything at once. And that's not how it works. Or you're really anxious, like you don't like a topic and, and then you haven't learned and then you're getting overwhelmed 
that you can't learn at all. Yeah. So it's about putting an order into things and learning step by step. How gorgeous is this reading, guys? I mean, I hope it gives you a lot of clarity and a lot of help. Yeah. This is a very interesting and very important topic. So this is the wheel reading. I hope you like it and I'm saying bye.